All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Check it out. I'm going to share a video with you guys to prove you guys that everything is going on right now has nothing, zero percent to do with black life and black life matters. They really don't care about black people. If you really think that they care, you are so wrong. They don't care. What they're trying to push is their hate, is their uh, essentially everything that they hate about this country really is 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 so much chaos and confusion and and hate man i don't i don't even know completely how to explain it to you guys but what we're seeing is total hate for this country and essentially the government and you know authority like the police officers and things like that has nothing to do with black people i'm about to prove it to some of you guys before i get into that Obviously, if you want to support the channel, you could become a patron. Check it out. If I make it to 100 patrons, I'm going to start a podcast. I'm trying to do that. So if you want to support the channel, obviously, that is just fantastic. You could do it right here. And, again, there's going to be links down below as well. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. we putting a lot of videos here in the channel. We're trying to bring you information, videos that I found here on, you know, on the Internet and things like that to kind of, like, talk about this and talk about, again, some of the things that we see. And, obviously, the most important thing that you could do is share the videos, guys. Share the videos. I definitely appreciate when you share the video. So, with that being said, let's hit the intro. And let's get started. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. So, again, I'm about to share a video with you guys here for you guys to see this. And this is so disgusting. This is overall, everything that we have seen from Black Lives Matter has been disgusting. Like, for the beginning, you know, uh, defending and, and making criminals heroes from attacking good people from burning our communities from murdering people i mean you name it this group has been so disgusting by now that we really don't know what's going on and i just can't believe that anybody will support them really anyone and i'm talking about the group in cell right the group in cell it's just a group that comes with hate and destruction to our nation right so again let me bring this up right here and let's talk about this. So I want you to see this. As you can see, this is a black guy. This is a black police officer. And to me, it's kind of interesting because I'm thinking about this. I'm trying to apply a little bit of common sense to this, right? And here's the thing. If I apply common sense to this and I think that a system is messed up, let's pretend that for a second I believe with all my heart that the police system is messed up. What would I want? Well, I want more police officers, and I'm talking about police officers that are black. That's what I would want, right? Let me readjust my audio right here. It should be better. So, again, you know, as I look at the situation and I will see black police officers, I'll be excited. I say, well, you know what? There's black police officers. If something happened, I'm going to have people that are there that understand what's going on, that are, you know, have skin in the game, right, are, are, are being... You know, have growing up, obviously, you know, black. And again, you know, they're going to be able to say, no, that's racist or not racist. Let me take it back. Hispanic, you know, you know, if there's guys there that are Hispanics, you know, I'm, I was born in Cuba, Cubans, you know, born in Cuba. And they are in this type of group. I'll be like, wow, look at that. You know, there are Hispanics there. I'm sure it's something, you know, really bad happening. They're going to stand up and, and, and speak out. Right. That's what I would think. Again. Maybe I'm just thinking too much. Maybe that's what's going through my head. But once again, you know, when we see black police officers, if we if we really think that there is a system that is being unfair, to me, having black police officers, it's just a fantastic thing. But what's happening here? I'm going to tell you what. I'm not going to put the volume in this thing. I'm really not going to. But it's insane what's happening to this cop. It is the respectful. Look at that. Look at look at their fingers to their face. I mean, how unsafe is that? They're giving him the finger. They're cursing him out. They're calling him a B. They, they, they F this, F that. I mean, how, first of all, so unsafe. This police officer could get attacked, could get stabbed, could get something bad could happen to him because really he doesn't even have a safe son. I mean, these people are inches, inches to 
his face. They're even shining his face with a flashlight. This is disgusting. This is just so disgusting. God bless this cop. Lord, I pray that in the name of Jesus, this police officers and police officers around the nation are protected. I proclaim and I pray about this and I send the blood of Jesus to watch over these police officers because these people are criminals and they are attacking our police officers. And what's happening? You know, what's happening is quite simple. Politicians are failing, failing to do their job. Politicians are failing to do their job. There's no reason why this cop is there with, with fingers to his face. No reason why. That's not a safe environment for him. It's insane. They're calling him out. They're cursing him and doing all those things. What do we see here? What do you notice? Let's notice something. It's a black police officer. So at this point, I'm confused. Truly truly confused if black life matters why are we screaming at this black police officer i mean this is the ironic or, or, or the issue that this group has because as you see black life actually good people being harassed people that are law abiding citizen good people that are being victimized in places like chicago good people you know like black people that are being victims not criminals victims you don't see anything. Really, you don't hear much about it. But you do hear when criminals are being criminals and, you know, they're being shot or killed. And actually, in many cases, the police are justified. Like Jacob Blake. That cop was 100%, in my opinion, justified to shoot at that guy. 100%. I won't even doubt it. So, again, you know. We hear about criminals, you know, that do horrific things to people and then they protest, they riot and all that. But when you see a police officer here that, you know, is a black man, a good member of our society, because obviously to be a police officer, he had to pass a background. He had to pass a medical. He had to pass, you know, a drug test. He had to pass all those things. Right. So he's a decent person of our society. And this is what we're seeing. Is anybody protesting about a good man, a good black person in our society? No. No, but for criminals, we burn a place down. But I guess the life of this black person doesn't matter because he happens to be a police officer. So, essentially, we don't have an issue. We don't care about black life. Essentially, what we have an issue is, again, police officers, our government, and our country. That's what we hate. The whole, you know, black life matter. Oh, we're protecting, protesting for ra racial uh, concerns or racial issues. That's not true. What they're really protesting and what they're really trying to accomplish is to destroy this nation. Because they don't care about black people. You see it right there. You see them screaming at a black person. You saw them attacking a McDonald's and harassing people and, and uh, the guy flipping out on another, on the manager of McDonald's and guess what? He happens to be a black person. You saw it when they kill the, the, the retired police captain in Missouri. Guess what? Retired police captain happens to be a black person. So this is not about black life matters, people. Like, let's get it straight. This has nothing to do with black people. This is a bunch of people that hate this country and they are attacking our way to life. Anyway, those are my opinion. You can share yours down in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys watching. And as always, God is in control.